Hello, I'm Senator Brian Jones, and I have the great honor of serving you in the California State Senate. And first off, I want to thank Saved in America, Women in International Security, and the Security Industry Association for inviting me to participate today. All of you are heroes and are doing great things to help keep people safe and to help rescue people from heartbreaking crime of human trafficking. I also want to applaud all the good work being done by my fellow panelists, Stephanie Brown, Maureen Toll, and former Attorney General Adam Laxalt. Thank you. As we all know, everything today is magnified by the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. This unfortunately also includes human trafficking activity. As Secretary of State Pompeo stated last month in the annual U.S. State Department Traffic in Persons Report, Instability and lack of access to critical services caused by the pandemic mean that the number of people vulnerable to exploitation by traffickers is rapidly growing. Increasing labor exploitation in Asia, the Middle East, and South America is drastically increasing and is extremely disheartening. The COVID pandemic and all of its effects worldwide are unfortunately creating more trafficking opportunities for entities in countries such as China, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Nicaragua. We must continue to keep up international pressure on these countries to stop looking the other way and instead crack down on human traffickers operating within their borders. We also know that unfortunately human trafficking is not limited to foreign lands and we still have major challenges here in the United States and right here in our San Diego region. There was a very interesting discussion last month on KPBS about how the number of reported cases of online child exploitation has tripled in San Diego County since the COVID pandemic began. Kids are home from school all the time now. They are online and social media a lot more now and are even more susceptible to online predators that lurk out there. These predators prey on the innocence and vulnerability of children, often luring children into sending photos or videos of themselves. Summer Stephan, the San Diego DA, and Bill Gore, the San Diego Sheriff, have set up a task force to specifically go after these creeps that target your and my kids. I know many of you are working with the DA and Sheriff, and again, I applaud you for your efforts. I'm not telling you anything new, one of the best preventions of child exploitation is getting parents involved and aware of what's going on early in the process. Let's every one of us commit today to step up our efforts to inform our neighbors, friends, and family members with kids that they need to become more involved with protecting and educating their kids about staying safe. The issue of human trafficking knows no boundaries and is one of the examples of an issue that truly receives bipartisan attention in the California legislature. In the legislature, we will be concluding our two-year legislative session at the end of August, but we have already enacted many measures aimed at human trafficking, increased funding, strengthening local ordinances, better compensation for victims, and more background checks of drivers are but a few of the legislative successes that we've had over the last couple of years. However, we can do more, we all need to do more, and we all will do more. We have no choice. Too many human lives are still too vulnerable. Thank you for all the great work that you're doing. I appreciate all that you do and commit to you my service in helping eradicate child trafficking from our country.